Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given system of three equations with three variables, as you can see over here. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. I'm going to call this equation, first equation as equation number one this second equation as equation number two, and this third equation as equation number three. And here's the very first step. Let's go ahead and multiply this first equation by y. I'm going to go ahead and multiply this one by y, and this second equation by x. And then now we are going to write down when we distribute this thing, we are going to get x square y minus x y square minus x y z equals to 5 y. And now let's multiply the second equation by x. We are going to get x y square minus x y z minus x square y equal to negative 4 x. And now let's go ahead and add these two equations up. We are going to add them. Once we add them, we can see that this x square y and this x square y, they cancel each other out. This x y square and this negative x y square, they are gone. So we just ended up with negative 2xy equal to 5 minus 4x. And I am going to call this equation as equation number 4. And now let's go ahead and multiply this second equation, this one by z, and the third equation by y. So let's go ahead and distribute that one. We are going to get y square z minus y z square minus x y z equal to negative 4 z. And now let's multiply third equation by y. So we are going to get y z square minus x y z and finally minus y square z equal to negative 7 y and now we are going to add them up let's go ahead and add these two equations and as we can see this y square z and this negative y square z is gone and this negative y z square and this y z square is gone as well so we ended up with only negative 2 x y z equal to negative 7 y negative 4 z and i am going to call this as an equation number 5 and now we are going to multiply this equation 1 by z. Let's go ahead and multiply this first equation by z and this third equation by x. And if we multiply these equations, we are going to get x square z minus x y z minus x z square equal to 5 z and let's go ahead and multiply third equation by x so we are going to get x z square minus x square z minus x y z equal to negative 7 x and now let's go ahead and add these two equations up and if we add these one up we can see that this x square z 
and this negative x squared z is gone and this x z squared and negative x z squared is gone so we ended up with negative 2x y z equal to 5z minus 7x and I am going to call this equation as equation number 6 and here's our next step let's go ahead and compare equations 4 and 5 and here is our equation 4 and 5 as we can see that the left hand sides are same so we can equate the right hand side as well let's go ahead and do that one so 5y minus 4x equal to negative 7y minus 4 z so now let's go ahead and move this negative 4z on the left hand side and that this stuff to the right hand side so we are going to get this 4z equal to negative 7y minus 5y plus 4x let's simplify furthermore 4z equal to 4x minus 12 y and since all these terms are divisible by 4 let's go ahead and divide across the board by 4 to make things simple so z turns out to be x minus 3y and i'm going to call this equation as number 7 and now let's go ahead and compare equations 5 and 6 and here are our equations 5 and 6 let's go ahead and simplify as we can see the left hand sides are same so we can easily equate the right hand side as well so i can write negative 7 y minus 4 z equal to 5 z minus 7 x now let's move this negative 4z on the right hand side and this negative 7x on the left hand side so we are going to get negative 7y plus 7x equal to 5z plus 4z let's simplify furthermore this is i'm going to write down 7x minus 7y equal to 9z let's divide both sides by 9 to isolate z so that means z turns out to be simply 7x minus 7y divided by 9 and I am going to call this equation number 8. All right. And in this next step, we are going to compare equations 7 and 8. And here are our equations 7 and 8. As you can see, since the left hand side are same, so we can equate the right hand side. I can write x minus 3y equal to 7x minus 7y over 9 and now let's go ahead and cross multiply by just multiplying these way crisscross so that's going to give us 9x minus 27y equal to 7x minus 7y Let's move this 7x on the left hand side and negative 27y on the right hand side. So we are going to get 9x minus 7x equal to negative 7y plus 27y. So that's going to give us 2x equal to 20y. Let's divide both sides by 2. So we are going to get x equal to 10 y and i am going to call this one as an equation number nine and here's our next step let's put x equal to 10y in equation seven 
And here is our question seven right up here. Wherever we see x, I'm going to replace it by 10y. So that is going to give us z equal to 10y minus 3y. That means z is going to be 7y. And I am going to call this equation as number 10. And here's our next step. Let's put x equal to 10y and z equal to 7y in equation 1. And here's our equation 1. As you can see, let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So x is being replaced by 10y. Then it becomes square minus 10y times y minus x is once again 10y times 7y equal to 5. Let's simplify the left hand side. 100y square minus 10y square minus 70y square equal to 5. So on the left hand side is going to give us 20 y square equal to 5. Let's divide both sides by 20. So we are going to get y square equal to 1 fourth. Let's take the square root on both sides to undo this square. So we got y equal to positive or negative 1 over 2. And here is our final step. So in the previous step, we figured out y equal to positive or negative 1 over 2. And now we are going to split them up. We're going to separate them. I'm going to put down y equal to positive 1 over 2. And here I'm going to put down y equals to negative 1 over 2. And from equation number 9, I just wrote down x equal to 10y. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So x is going to be 10 times 1 over 2. That means our x value is going to be 5. And now let's recall z equal to 7y from equation 10. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So z equal to 7 times y is 1 over 2. That means z value turns out to be 7 over 2. Now let's go ahead and repeat the same process for this y equal to negative 1 over 2 value. And we know x equal to 10y. So x is going to become 10 times negative 1 over 2 means x is going to be negative 5 value. Now we know that z equal to 7y. Let's go ahead and fill in the blank. So z equal to 7 times negative 1 over 2. So z turns out to be negative 7 over 2 value. So thus our x value turns out to be 5. y is 1 over 2 and z is 7 over 2 on the left hand side. So I can write it like this way. 5 1 over 2 and 7 over 2 and on this side on the right hand side x is negative 5 negative 1 over 2 y and z is negative 7 over 2 so this could be written as negative 5 negative 1 over 2 and negative 7 over 2 and thus this is our solution set as you can see and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.